Hello viewers and welcome to this channel. I want to bring to your attention the story that has been circulating online about a young man, Jeff Mwathi, who lost his life in an unclear circumstances. A story that has attracted the attention of the CS Kiture Kidiki. Jeff Mwathi is or was a young man who lost his life in an unclear circumstance after spending his whole day with a famously known DJ from the mountain region by the name DJ Fatso. And the young man, Jeff Mwathi, happened to be a nephew of one of the famous Mugithi stars, Samido Muchoki. Samido, who is also known for love affair with the well-known Senator Karen Nyamu, whom at the moment, the two are now serving couple goals. After the goat wife of Samido, who is Ide Derito, gave up and said she is not ready for polygamous marriage. Now back to the story of Jeff. The young man, who was only 23 years old, seemed to have been familiar with DJ Fatso, because from his wall, there can be found photos of him and the DJ dating back to the year 2021. Though their friendship wasn't so put in public, probably they were just acquaintances. This is how it all transpired to the death of this guy on 21st February of this year. On this day, Jeff was contacted by the famous DJ Fatso to meet up since he had noticed a well-designed space of a shop and after inquiring, he was told Jeff is the guy behind the good job. Jeff was super excited after receiving the call from the DJ and he was ready to go close the deal and get the job to decorate a shop for the famous DJ. He also communicated with his mother who works outside the country. He also kept updating his mother on how the day was unfolding till late in the night at around 1 p.m. when his mom heard his son's last voice for the last time on earth. And after meeting up with the DJ, he sent his mom a video of them having some little fun and assured his mother that he had already closed the deal and he was to be given the cash the following day to now start the job. After that, the DJ made Jeff comfortable with some friends the whole day, moving with him from club to club, four clubs on the road. And by the time they were done, it was already 3 a.m. in the morning. Earlier, when Jeff's mom asked him whether he hasn't left for home, he said that DJ Fatso had said he will take him home by himself. So Jeff relaxed and kept waiting. It's also said that the gang was well spoiled with Hennessy, an expensive alcoholic drink. Now at around 3 a.m. is when DJ Fatso and three women, also with him was a driver and a friend, and as well as his cousin, together now with Jeff, managed to get to the DJ Fatso's resident apartment, Kenwood at Kasarani. They all went up to his house on 10th floor. Here now it said that after some time DJ Fatso left to escort the girls, and that means the driver and the cousin and a friend were left with Jeff in the house as DJ left with the girls. While the four people were in that house, and after that is when two men from that house went down to the parking area and they were seen looking around, even opening the washroom space, and one of the two was seen making a call. And also the CCTV footage shows that they stood at a certain spot in the parking where Jeff's body fell later. And after spending some minutes there on the ground at the parking, having made some calls and opened the washroom space, they went back up to the 10th floor in their house. It took around 7 minutes, and then the body of Jeff was seen flying down, falling at the very same spot the two guys had been seen standing earlier. And when the caretaker went outside to check, he found a body lying, with broken hands and a busted head, and the pants were half down. It was such a horrible scene. He went knocking and inquiring from every house starting from the first one all the way up to the 10th floor, the DJ's house. And every house he knocked was opened and the owners said the body was not from their house. Until he got to the 10th floor and knocked, he could hear their people inside, but they did not open. He went and checked to the outer side and noticed that every window was closed. It is said that after all this had happened, it's when DJ Fatso returned to the house after escorting the girls. He saw the body of the young man on the ground and he was attracted to go check close by. When he looked at his body, it is said that he just covered his face and walked away, like he had not met or seen this guy Jeff. He went up and it is said that he went and told his cousin and friends, there is a body surrounded by many people at the parking that seems to have fallen from one of the houses. 
They all assumed like Jeff wasn't part of them. They said that Jeff committed suicide by falling himself from the 10th floor without them noticing. It is quite a thrilling and heartbreaking story surrounded by controversy. Up to date as the homicide department is trying to unravel the mystery of the death of this young man. It has been like 16 days after his death and already buried. Many people and the social media fans are hoping that justice will be served by the end of the day. Keep it here for the update. Thanks for watching.